Please introduce yourself and your involvement in the Internet of Things. My name is Janos Stepanovic. I'm a professor at Vanderbilt University. I'm director of the Institute for Software Integrated Systems. And right now I'm the, in the steering committee of the uh, Industrial Internet Consortium. And how long have you been working in the Internet of Things as it's branded today? I went to work uh, for the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency where I started building up programs on uh, embedded systems. In 2000, I started uh, the creation of a program called uh, Network Embedded Systems Program. Uh, that was a very interesting period. I had one year to look around uh, what, what will happen uh, if uh, sensors, software, uh, networks are all combined together and uh, used for uh, creating feedback loops uh, where send signal go, uh, with fine granularity go back to the physical environments. And that whole process led to uh, a better understanding uh, what does it mean if we deeply integrate uh, the physical environments and computations through networking. So when was your aha moment when you kind of put the pieces together and you realized there's, there's something really big here? As you know, uh, uh, computer science and the physical sciences or computer engineering and physical engineering uh, evolved on separate trajectories uh, since the early 60s. And uh, what we witness more and more how these two areas are reintegrating. And that created a lot of need uh, for uh, reintegrating basically the physical and computational sciences. Uh, we, uh, we started looking after how to create a new system science which is able to describe this integrated system. Uh, that led later from the uh, mid-2000s uh, to a whole new direction, which is called Cyber Physical Systems Direction, uh, where we try to capture basically what is the emerging new, uh, uh, new system category which is coming here and what kind of new foundations are needed. Well, you've been involved then for, for quite a number of years on the cutting edge. Can you maybe relay some of the best practices that you've, uh, that you've observed in that time? In the, <coughs> really, the, the, one important thing is that uh, many of these emerging new applications uh, are enabling uh, new categories of, uh, of engineering practices and uh, new ecosystems. Uh, the creation of new ecosystems. So I can associate the best practices with those type of approaches where uh, the distributed sensor networks and networking lead to new platforms. These new platforms can be used by others uh, that can build applications on the top of it. Uh, use it to widely different kind of purposes, uh, using to analytics, to improve human decision making, and ultimately to generate feedback to the environment, to the physical environment. These uh, new platforms that are emerging are fascinating. They create new jobs and, uh, and represent a, a fantastic uh, technical challenge to build them. So this category of applications that I'm uh, really looking forward to see more and more. Let's talk about the IIC a little bit. Um, can you tell me why did you join the IIC? Uh, so, I, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I was uh, part of that group that uh, started working on the, uh, on the IIC concept, represented basically the academic audience. Now, it's really a valid question if there is an industrial consortium, why academics participating in it? Uh, the answer is that, uh, uh, that this general area, what we are talking about, really is uh, on engineered systems. Uh, in engineered systems, uh, the hard difficulties, the hard challenges uh, are coming from the new emerging industrial applications. Uh, because industry uh, on the, uh, is at the front here building these complicated engineered systems. And, uh, and basically science uh, and engineering science is the one which needs to provide the appropriate tools, methods for making these applications safe, secure, and, uh, and perform uh, in, a, in a predictable and reliable way. 
So uh, the situation here is that the transitioning model, which is, the, uh, which is usually considered such that fundamental research produces results, which will be transitioned later downstream to the industry, is not working that way. The industry uh, produces here the challenge problem, but the academics need to process, understand what are the difficulties, what are the, the major issues here. Industry poses these problems, uh, and the academy and the basic research needs to work on it and ultimately work together with the in industry folks to find, uh, find the solutions for it. Uh, so again, the industrial internet is a fantastic opportunity where the academics can work together with the, uh, with the industry uh, to understand these problems, predict the future, and develop the foundations. So what is your, what is your contribution then for the IIC? Uh, I'm uh, in this year member of the, uh, the steering group. Uh, and uh, we try to formulate in the steering group, uh, from my point of view, the, the basic methods how uh, this public-private partnership can work together effectively.